welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. I recently posted my Stranger Things Readathon TBR. If you're interested, make sure to check it out. I'll link it in the cards. Also, my vlog is gonna be in the cards too. You guys asked for a separate video for A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is a fantasy book, and I think that's the main reason why you guys wanted a separate video because I'm not a fantasy reader, and I'm just really interested to see if I'm gonna like this very well-known and loved book here on booktube. I bought this series because Kayla from Kayla Rose Reads, she posted an Instagram picture and she said that this book actually saved her life. And obviously we all connect and relate to characters and books in different ways. I just, I hope this will mean something to me too. So this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it focuses on this girl, I think her name's Fair. I don't know how to say her name, Fi Fair? Fair? I don't know. And um, <laughs> this book is about her. She lives in a society where the whole world is divided into two. So there's this place for humans and mortal beings. And there's this place for gods, immortal beings, and fairy, fairy, fa fairies? I don't know how to pronounce these names. This is one of the reasons why I don't like fantasy. They have such confusing names. She killed a wolf and this wolf was not just a wolf. And now she's in big trouble. So that's all I know so far. Let's do this. I'm super excited and I hope you are too. book and I'm personally not a big fan of magic elements but I guess in fantasy it's pretty common so I'll just have to see if I like this or not. For now I'm finding this very weird <laughs> and very hard to get through but granted I'm only on page 46 so there's not like a lot going on yet and there's not enough time for me to relate to the characters in any way. I can tell you it's been like three years since I've read a fantasy book and that's insane. But yeah, I'm gonna read now and I'll give you guys an update later. <laughs> Okay, so I just got to page 100 and I'm here to give you all some of my updates. So I am enjoying this. I'm invested in the story. This book has the fantasy that I like the most. If I were to rank them, I like, this is gonna sound so weird, but don't judge me. I like when um, someone is being kidnapped and then sent into another world. Maybe because I'm a thriller fan, that's why I enjoy it. But I feel like something might happen with fair, fair and her captor so that's gonna be interesting i really enjoy this type of fantasy because it's not full-on dragons and unicorns it's just something a little bit more down to earth i think i don't know don't judge me i i don't know what i'm talking about oh i didn't think this was was going to be a steamy book I just wasn't expecting this from this book. This is not PG-13. Ow. I'm halfway through and I'll update you guys tomorrow. I want to finish this tomorrow. I think I will. I'm very invested in the story, surprisingly. I can understand why people like it now. Um, it took a different turn than what I was expecting, but I still don't know like what this chunk of the book is gonna be about because I don't see this story going any further. So today's the second day that I'm reading um, Court of Thorns and Roses and Ryzand just appeared. Kayla Rose Reese is completely obsessed with Ryzand. He's like the ultimate crush ever. I just want to know why she likes him better than Tamlin because Tamlin seems okay so far to be honest with you i thought this was gonna be like a dnf when i first started reading it but it's not i'm so glad that kayla Payton recommended this book because i would never picked it up otherwise and i'm really enjoying it so far like the, the, I'm, i just have this left who am i to read a fantasy books in two days like no that's so weird so i'm really glad that i'm enjoying this i'll keep on reading and i'll let you guys know what i think when i hopefully finish this
maybe I'm wrong. Wait. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> that was wrong. Thank God. Oh. What? What? Pointed with <laughs> the riddle now that I see the answer. I guess it's okay, it matches, but I was expecting something a little bit more. You know. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I finished it. I don't think Sarah J. Mass thought this was going to be a series. By the way this book ended i think just thought it was gonna be a standalone i did like this overall i think i'll give it like four or three stars i don't know yet exactly like how much i'm gonna rate this but i did enjoy it i was surprised i did i'm surprised i got through it i thought i was gonna stop in the middle i would recommend it if you like fantasy or if you're a fantasy newbie like me if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!